we've got this great equipment from Bailey. We've got a really cool project that's going to test each and every piece of equipment. And we're going to look at the pros and cons of each machine to make a whole bunch of noise. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're going to build the other side of the, uh, rough out the other side of the panel for the roaster pickup back. I want to do this one a little bit different. On the other one, you know, um, when we did the um, Bailey equipment, we did it one method where I shrank this edge here, pull this around, and then we put our shape in the main area here. Once we got it shrunk around, we had to stretch this to get it to lay flat on the buck. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna go in, and I'm just gonna do a 100% stretch. I'm gonna use the yoder, and um, on the panel here, um, I measured off the buck. This is the flatter area. It's right here where it's not much crown. Right here is where the majority of the crown's gonna be, and then it's got to go back to being flat again. So basically, I want to have this high ridge right here blended into this, and then we'll form it over by folding it to form and see how close we are here. I got the panel uh, marked out basically where I'm going to hit and get it oiled up, and uh, we'll run it through there and see what we can do. Okay, so what I've got is I've got this panel here with a lot of shape in it, okay? This is a good lesson in shape and form. You can only shape a panel by shrinking it or stretching it. That's the only two things you can do to shape. You gotta shrink or stretch. There's nothing else. Then there's form. So, obviously, this shape here where it's stretched laying on this flat form. This is the form it's in, it's flat. This is what it looks like. However, if I roll this over, it is now this form. See, it's all I did was form. With this form that we have, there's not enough, there's not quite enough shape in it. So what I've got to do is flatten it back out, put some more shape in it. So I'll just unform it. Take it back to the hammer. Work this area right here, blend into here. Okay, so the initial fit up to the buck here, the highlight line is great. Looks really good. It's fitting really, really, really close. Like I said, the highlight line 
is absolutely awesome. For the other one, I need to go back and do a little bit of work to get that line as perfect as this one is. It's fitting up here nice, just laying there. A little bit right here. So that means it needs a little bit more stretch right in here. For unforming it, changing the form back to flat, is because I'm using a very low crown die in the hammer. You always want to use the flattest crown you can. Don't get hung up on the stupid radiuses because it doesn't matter. This, this die that I'm using in my hammer right now to make this high crown is the same die I use to make my roof inserts and door skins with a low crown. happy with this shape and the way it fits on the buck, except I need to kind of tune this highlight line in. It's kind of crooked. So you can do it by hand, you know, a hammer and dolly and, and things like that. It takes forever. Um, I've got something set up in my power hammer. This is a uh, setup I made. This is a rubber upper die and it just uses a uh, three inch screw on hammer heads that I got from McMaster Carr, okay? And then the bottom die is a piece of poplar wood that's just been shaped to a crown for forming. Now, since this isn't metal to metal, it's, re it's really difficult to stretch the metal because metal to metal is what it takes to stretch. But if you notice here, it's just the rubber. And that's as loud as it is. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? It's the only time this machine's quiet. Okay, so uh, we got our panel shaped. I turned this flange to fit on the buck. I did a preliminary start of the bead. I'm doing this a little different. I'm gonna put half the bead in and then turn the flange this time. Just showing a different approach to do the same thing as what we did uh, using the other equipment. Gotta do a little pre-stretch down here in the corner because it's starting to suck down in here. I'm gonna go in here with the planching hammer and stretch this corner and run it through the pull max after uh, after that, and we'll get our have our bead put in here. Then we'll mark it, trim it, turn the edge. And we'll have this bottom bead area. nice right there so it fits our buck now I'm going to scribe on the inside and then we're going to tip this flange under so now I'm starting to get wrinkled here need that to go over so that means I've got to shrink this area right here so I'm gonna to go to my favorite kick shrinker of all time. If you haven't got one of these yet, you need to order it. It is the baddest little kick shrinker on earth.
we've got um, our other side, driver's side, uh, panel shaped. So it's laying flat on the buck. We've got the right shape and everything. It's touching all the stations. So next thing we're gonna do, put our half bead in, put our other pocket in, and put the bead tops on. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.